why does God allow bad things to happen to people? So, uh, you know, in our in in life, there's a lot of things that happen that on as they appear, they appear to be good or they appear to be bad. In the end, all of those moments are meant to be moments to meet God. And so, for example, if uh, there's somebody out swimming and a shark bites their arm, that's a bad moment for them. But the real question is, who is God for them in that moment of being hurt? And how can they meet God in the middle of that hurt and all of that? And so it's not so much a matter of good or bad, it's more a matter of meeting God in life all the way across the board. Okay. Does that help? Yeah. Um, why do you think God created humans? I think God created humans because He loved us. And He loved us into being. And he wanted to share his love so much that he created us uh, and that he invites us to also love him. And that's part why he sent his son Jesus to us, to show us how much he loves us and how much he wants to be in a love relationship with us. So great question. Yes, ma'am. What was your favorite saint in love? So I really have a couple of favorite saints. One of them is St. Louis. And that's my namesake. He's the, he's the, uh, he was the king of France, but most generous to the poor. And he led his people well. And of course, he was a wonderful uh, family man. Um, I'm really mo moved by St. Peter. So he was the first pope. And his experience with Jesus in trying to, to come to understand what Jesus coming to the world meant. And he was the first to declare Jesus as the Messiah, or as our Savior. And, and that's very special. And then there's some other saints, but that's probably the two that come to mind the most. Um, and the women saints, St. Teresa of uh, Avila, is very, very special to us. Uh, she uh, was a, a person of deep prayer. And so that's part of the invitation for us. And then St. Teresa of Lisieux, who was in France, she also was very special. And she was very young uh, when she really fell in love with Jesus and fell in love with the church. So that's the invitation for each of us. Fall in love with Jesus and fall in love with the church. It's a great question. Yes, ma'am. Have you really known God and realized so how can there be one God and three divine persons? Is that the question? So that one is a mystery for us as a church. But when Jesus came, he revealed to us that he was God the Son. And he had a relationship with God the Father, the creator of all things. And that relationship is a special love relationship. And what passes between them is the Spirit of God. And so uh, our belief and tradition of faith is that there is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And that is an image of God for us that we actually uh, bring into our lives every time we make the sign of the cross. So when we say in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we're actually asking the, the whole Trinity, God, the Father, Son, and Spirit to embrace us with love? A great question. This man. Why did God make you a bishop? Why did God make me a bishop? I'm going to ask him that when I get a chance to <laughs> meet him in person. But I think the invitation which came from our Holy Father, Pope Francis, is he wanted me to shepherd the people in the Diocese of Biloxi, which is Southern Mississippi, which includes you. So, I'm your chief shepherd for your faith. That's part of why I came to visit, to help with you and to work with you and to share in your love together. So, great question. Yes, ma'am, you got another one. Do you have to speak many other languages when you travel? Well, I speak Spanish and I understand uh, quite a bit of Italian. 
Uh, and yes, there are times when I have to use Spanish instead of English. Uh, and there's a times when I need to listen to what they're saying in Italian, and then I'll usually respond in Spanish, and they usually can figure out what I'm, I'm saying. So it's a big world, and there's a lot of languages. So the conversation I had with the Holy Father this Saturday, there were 15 different languages represented. So we had translations for all 15 languages. And the Holy Father was speaking Italian. And so, good question. Yeah. Yes, sir. Do you remember the first Mass that you celebrated? Can you tell us about it? Yeah, the first Mass I actually celebrated was my ordination. And I was ordained on November 18, 1977. So this November, I will be a priest for 44 years. A very special moment in the Cathedral of Corpus Christi, Texas. So right on the Gulf Coast. That was the first Mass I celebrated as a priest. And then I had a Mass of Thanksgiving at my home parish in Corpus Christi, and that's St. Cyril Methodius Church. And there were a number of kind of first Masses that I did after that. Great question. Yes, ma'am. If you could give kids our age one piece of advice, what would it be? So giving you some advice at your age. So I would encourage you to really embrace the two great commandments that we talked about earlier. So the commandments Jesus gave us, to truly love God with your whole heart and soul and mind and strength, so be a people of prayer, and to love your neighbor as yourself, so to be a people of the Word of God and also of the body and blood of Christ. So when we celebrate Mass, that all kind of comes together at the same time. So that's what I would encourage you to do. Yes, ma'am. How long have you been a bishop? I've been a bishop now for four and a half years. So I've been your bishop for four and a half years. And I was a Boy Scout. In fact, I'm an Eagle Scout. So I made it all the way through. So keep doing what you're doing with the Brownies and the Girl Scouts, okay? No more questions. No more questions. Okay. How are we doing questions? We got them all? Wonderful. I have two more. She has two more. Well, hit me with them. How can we live out our, our vocation as kids? So your vocation is your call to holiness and holiness with God. And so you can do that by being young people who love God with their whole heart and soul and mind and strength and to love your neighbor as yourself. So that means living out your life with God in prayer, living your life with God in the Word of God, the Bible, living out your life with the different sacraments of the church, but especially as you love your family, as you love your brothers and sisters, as you love your classmates, as you love your teachers. So all of that is very special to you. What does your daily prayer life look like? So I do a holy hour every day. And then we as priests uh, make a commitment when we're ordained to pray what we call the liturgy of the hours. So that means throughout the day, there are certain prayers we pray all throughout the day. And then I also celebrate Mass every day. And I celebrate that too for special intentions throughout the the whole diocese and the world. Um, usually pray the rosary uh, most days, and then I spend some time in quiet prayer. That's kind of what we were doing today with you, uh, using Lexio Divina, so what is the Word of God for me today, and then uh, using imagination prayer, so the Word of God and entering into that moment, and then to do Visio Divina, which is to really gaze upon the wonder of God's love in some kind of a photo or a picture or a statue or something like that. And then to do intercessory prayer, which is to pray for you and each of your classmates and your families and Sacred Heart School and Sacred Heart Care and the people of Hattiesburg and the people of the Diocese of Biloxi. So great questions. Wonderful. She's got another one. 
Um, when did you start being a bishop? When did I start being a bishop? So actually I was called to be a bishop on December 6, uh, 2016. And then it was announced about 10 days later here in the diocese and in Rome where the Holy Father is. And then I was ordained a bishop on April 28, 2017. So it's been four and a half years that I've been able to be a bishop. And it's been a great time to be with you. And it's good to be able to be here today to celebrate this moment at Sacred Heart School with each of our classes. So well done, great questions. So, <laughs> you got another one. Boy, they're active today. Yes, ma'am. Do you like Lizia Divina or Lexia Divina? And why? Uh, I, I like Lexio Divina probably the most uh, because it enables me to get really into the word and have a specific word that takes goes throughout the day. Uh, but Visio Divina is also very special, uh, especially when, as, you, as uh, Juliana shared with you, there's a special sunrise or sunset. Those really get our attention and we give thanks to God in those moments. Uh, very special. And then imagination prayer is also very special. What is the What is the favorite part? Favorite part. Part of it is to come to see you and be with you. That's part of the favorite part, uh, and to help you to come to know God and God's love, and to help you to be able to grow in God's love. So, all right. So we're going to give you a blessing, and then we're going to take a picture together. I think so. As we do in church, the Lord be with you. Amen. Your spirit will make the sign of the cross. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well done, team.